Hello! So I took uh, Omega Red to rank 5, um, I don't know, a week ago or before the season started. And um, I haven't taken him to war yet. Like I did my uh, first war with uh, Colossus, last war with um, Magneto. And finally today, after watching some vids on YouTube, about him doing well, um, even though he's not tactic, I decided to bring him. So I will have like six fights with him. And uh, I'm going to show you how I did the uh, last war with this guy. Uh, my gameplay is not perfect. So I must uh, confess that when I was facing uh, tactic champs, sometimes I was a bit scared, you know, because of the potential power gain. I, I still have nightmare from the how the, the tactic uh, behaved like uh, at the beginning of the off-season, remember, where uh, champions were getting to SP3 right away, you know? So this explains why uh, sometimes um, my behavior will not be as smooth as I would like it to be. And then there are other champs that uh, I wasn't sure either, like uh, Domino in Section 2, you will see. Uh, maybe I could have dealt uh, better with her, but um, anyway, so... Um, I thus uh, brought him together with um, Sabertooth Synergy and White Magneto because I will need him uh, for three fights. The first fight will be against the Narcus. Um, I was scared about this fight too, but in the end I realized that it was a uh, rank 3 and in the end uh, the fight wasn't horrible like, as I thought um, it would be. So, you know, armor break, um, cold snap, uh, I was worried about these issues. So the plan here is uh, not to parry, stick to one hit combo until I get above uh, 10 spores and heavy to put the degen to make the spores stick. But once the degen is on, you see, you, you can watch him die because uh, it's only an R3. So that's it for this fight. Next fight is a Kingpin, Tactic Defender. So uh, I'm putting um, White Mag's pre-fight here, so I can be able to parry at the very beginning and not to have him purify my parry because of the lack of spores. I do one hit combo, parry again, but it didn't work there. If not, uh, punish him with one, one hit. And uh, once I have enough spores, of course, put um, the degen by uh, throwing a heavy attack. So I was a bit afraid of the potential power gain. This disallies me a bit, so I didn't punish his uh, special one with a heavy, as I should have done, or as I did in the past. But in the end, he went down pretty fast. Next fight is a long shot on node 26. You know, so that's the node with the Conflictor and the Hazard Shift, uh, Shock and Bleed. So um, I will put a Wax Pre-Fight. This is because uh, I want to be able to parry because of the Conflictor node. But also, even my Spores uh, do not work well against Longshot because I think he has a 300 uh, attack ability accuracy, which means that even if I have like 10 Spores, uh, the guy would shrug the, the, the debuff, okay? The one thing I uh, forgot about is that when I will heavy to place the degen on him, he will, he will shrug it off. So that's a bit the, the issue I face. Also, I had a poor gameplay there. I uh, ate uh, a heavy attack. And then with the heavy, he got uh, a huge amount of power. Managed to deck the special one. Sometimes I mess up against a long shot. And, and I do, do those um, one-hit intercepts, you know, to keep his power low. Unfortunately, at this point of the fight, he has uh, quite a huge amount of power. So I try to block, you know, and finally, uh, once he's at low health, I simply finish him with a combo. Okay, so thank God uh, it's an R5. And I managed to uh, take it down pretty fast. Then we have a Nick Fury. So Nick Fury, nothing complicated. Again, try to slow play him at the beginning. 
You can parry him uh, easily, supposedly. There, I punish his heavy attack with one hit. I'm trying to place a heavy, and finally I can. He has one bar of power, so I simply block. Four hit combo, I block, because I want to push him to two bars of power. I don't want to deal with his special one. Finally, he can throw his special two. I dex it, and you see that he's already in second phase at low life. Just a last push and we can finally finish Nick Fury. Then I'm fighting a Domino. So it's the first time I'm fighting actually a Domino ever with um, uh, Omega Red. Typically I use Ultron for this matchup. So I uh, tried some duels, you know, and I also I tried to heavy counter her, her heavy, you know, because there is the make a stand node, so you have to knock her down to so that you remove a protection. And uh, in duels, it didn't work pretty well uh, for me. So sometimes I could, sometimes I couldn't. So I don't know whether you saw, she threw a heavy. I could have punished her with my own heavy and I was too scared of doing it. Um, so I think that's an aspect I can still improve, you know? So what I will do is simply wait her to charge as it would be the case in a, in a moment. To place my heavy attack and then uh, throw a special two. To so the case now, heavy attack, special two. And finally, we have the protection down and she goes far down fast. Then finally, we have a boss circle assignment. So I'm dealing with this Atuma on the Miss in Action node. I will place a White Magneto pre-fight because you know Atuma can shrug off um, your stun, but also when he does, uh, he can get those hydration stacks. And if you go around ability accuracy, purifying ability accuracy I omega, as Omega Red does, can even get more stacks, so you don't want this to be. But with the Wax Pre-Fight, basically the approach here is kind of the same as the Nick Pre-Fight before. Slow play him at the beginning, one hit combos. When he has in enough spores, you, you place the heavy attack to put the DJ and make the spore stick. He's a tactic defender, so I was afraid that he would gain uh, too much power, you know? So at some point I uh, stopped hitting him because I didn't want to push him above two bars of power. Then we have the falter, so here I'm waiting that it goes away and finally I can finish him with a heavy attack. That's it for this war. I hope you like my new rank 5 Omega Red. I personally like it a lot. See you. Bye.